Assalamu alaikum. My name is Zara Vaseem and today the topic of my presentation is mesoporous materials. The contents that we will be describing uh, today are the first of all introduction, classification, synthesis, types, functionalization, magnetic nanocomposites, types of magnetic me mesoporous materials, applications, advantages, examples, and reference. Mesoporous materials. Mesoporous materials are the material which have their pore size in between micro and macroporous materials. IUPAC defines microporous materials as a material having pores smaller than two nanometer in diameter and macroporous material as a material having pores larger than 50 nanometer in diameter. They can be used in variety of applications, mainly because of its high surface area, pore volume and stability. The most common method of synthesis of mesoporous material is soft template method. What are porous material? A porous material can be defined simply as any solid containing void spaces, space not occupied by the main framework of atoms that make up the structure of the solid. Porous materials are characterized by its porosity. There are a variety of porous materials differing in chemical composition, pore geometry, and size. Porosity. Porosity is a measure of the void spaces in a material and is a fraction of the volume of voids over the total volume between 0 and 1, or as a percentage between 0% and 100%. They are deeper than they are wide. They describe pores or the cell or pore walls. Amount of spaces between sediments depends, upon, depends on size of sediments, shape of sediments, and sorting of sediments. Pore size. Pore size is important for applications. IUPAC three pore regime is three pore size regimes: microporous, mesoporous, and macroporous. Microporous smaller than two nanometer, mesoporous between two to fifteen nanometer, macroporous larger than fifty nanometer. Different pore size materials show characteristic uh, physical adsorption isotherm. Microporous, these materials show type 1 isotherm, mesoporous type 4 isotherm is seen in, is seen in this material associated with capillary conden condensation. Macroporous, this material shows type 2 adsorption isotherm. Classification of porous material either depends on pore size or depends on building framework. Depending on pore size is further divided into microporous, mesoporous, and macroporous, and depending on building framework further divides into purely inorganic, organic, inorganic hybrid, and purely organic. Synthesis of mesoporous uh, materials include soft template, which can either be called endotemplate, hot template, exotemplate, nanocasting. Soft template uses soft templates like organic molecules. They have good shape, size, and morphology and are simple. Examples are SPA15, MCM41. Hard template uses inorganic materials like silica, carbon, etc. Tedious workup, hard to get good morphology, and they are expensive. Examples are CMK1. Soft template methods for synthesis. The methods include surfactants, formation of micelles, inorganic precursors, interaction of micelles with inorganic precursors, hydrothermal treatment followed by separation and drying, removal of template, proposed mechanism. Hard template. Synthesis of mesoporous carbons with well-defined mesopore structures is usually done by hard template method, Preparation of silica gel with controlled pore structure, impregnation or infiltration of the silica template with monomer or polymer precursors, cross-linking and carbonization of the organic precursors, dissolution of the silica template. Types of mesoporous materials. Types of mesoporous materials include MCM41, MCM50, MCM48, HMS, SPA15. Functionalization of mesoporous materials. Mesoporous silicates have very high surface area and their surfaces are covered by silanol groups, which make the functionalization of the pore surface of the mesoporous materials adjustable. The surface functionalization of mesoporous silicates could change the chemical and physical properties of these materials dramatically. There are two major ways to functionalize the surface of mesoporous silicates by organic functional groups, named as post-synthesis grafting and co-condensation. The first method, grafting method, is a post-synthesis method to modify a prefabricated inorganic mesoporous material surface by attachment of functional groups to the surface of material, usually after surfactant removal. 
In the process of grafting mesoporous silicates, the surface silanol groups SIOH, which can be present in high concentration, act as a convenient anchoring points for organic functionalization. The second method is co-condensation method. Co-condensation method is another strategy to functionalize mesoporous silicates surface by sol gel chemistry between tetra alkyl oxylane and one or more organo -oxy alkyl oxylane with SIC bonds. Magnetic nanocomposites with mesopore structures. Magnetic nanocomposites have potential applications in magnetic fluids, catalysis, biomedicine, magnetic resonance, imaging, data storage, and environmental remediation. There are many problems associated with magnetic nanoparticles, such as instability over long periods due to their tendency to aggregate. As a solution, these magnetic nanoparticles can be coated with suitable mesoporous materials in order to exploit their properties and keep them stable. Mesoporous materials with their attractive properties makes, the suitable, makes them suitable to be used as drug delivery carriers, imaging agents, water treatment adsorbents, and as catal cat catalysts. Types of magnetic mesopores include monodispersed magnetic nanopores embedded in mesoporous nanospheres, microspheres encapsulating magnetic pores into perpendicularly aligned mesopore, mesoporous shells, ordered mesoporous materials loaded with magnetic nanopores inside porous channels, rattle-type magnetic nanocomposites. Applications of nanoporous materials in research and industry. The applications are drug delivery system, catalysis, diagnostics, adsorbents, and chromatography. Drug delivery system. The major challenge when developing drug delivery system is that drug effi efficiency deteriorates prior to reaching the target, fundamentally due to the excretion of the, body, of the drug from the body. Additionally, the drug carrier needs to be non-toxic and inert throughout the, system, throughout the treatment period. Due to the fact most biological molecules and pharmaceuticals are on the order of a few nanometers, nanoporous silica, with a pore size of 2 to 30 nanometer is of significant importance for such life applications. Catalysis. In catalysis, materials with large surface areas and nanoscale features are utilized to develop highly selective catalysis, catalysts that limit energy use and the production of waste and pollutants in industrial applications. Porous materials such as zeolites are broadly used in industry as cat uh, catalysts and catalyst sports. When large molecules are incorporated into catalyzed reaction, mass transfer inhibits the suitability of zeolite structures. Attempts to enhance the diffusion of the reactants in catalytic sites and have been resolved by expanding pore sizes to the meso range. These super selective catalysts can significantly reduce costs in many industries. Diagnostics. Mesoporous materials are perfect in diagnostics applications because of their enhanced image contrast and chemical stability. Functional moieties can be united within the pores, enabling new potentialities for numerous measurements and detection. Due to the low toxicity, toxicity of silica-based porous materials and their capacity to host a wide range of fluorescent markers, dyes, and drugs can be used to monitor and find the location of therapeutic agents and their activity. Adsorbents. The large surface area of nanoporous materials facilitates their use as adsorbents for a variety of liquids, gases, and toxic heavy metals. The uptake of these substances can be significantly increased based on the surface properties of the mesoporous silica materials. Multiple applications, including the removal of pollutants from water, adsorptive xylene separation, storage of gases, and separation of biological and pharmaceutical compounds have been addressed by utilizing mesoporous materials as adsorbents. Chromatography. The large surface area, pore volume, and narrow pore size distribution of mesoporous silica makes it an optimal choice for size exclusion chromatography. These materials have been recommended as supports or stationary faces for normal face high pressure liquid chromatography, capillary gas chromatography, size exclusion chromatography, proteomic separations, and enantioselective HPLC. Advantages of mesoporous materials. Advantages of mesoporous materials are simple functionalization, strategies with organics, narrow pore size distributions and high surface areas, biocompatibility and low toxicity, framework or wall substitutions with various metal oxides, including silica, alumina, and titania. 
Examples of mesoporous materials. Uh, typically, um, mesoporous materials include some kinds of silica and alumina that have similarly sized mesopores. Mesoporous oxides of niobium, tantalum, titanium, zirconium, cerium, and tin have also been reported. These are the references for my presentation. Thank you. That is all for my presentation.